am going to be making a um, polenta based pizza. I'm not sure if it's going to work as per usual, but I'm going to give it a go. So I have got oh, a piece of paper coming down. God. Um, I've got my old trusty battered up old frying pan. And I'm going to cook some chicken pieces in that. I've got this frozen chicken, which I really quite like, that you can just keep and just get out of the freezer when you want it. And you haven't got, like, chicken going out of date. I mean, I do buy fresh chicken, don't get me wrong. But, um, I, um, I, I like this as well. I think, it, I think it's pretty darn good. So, I'm just going to put a handful in of my chicken the dog. and I've also got some diced onion which I find um, pretty quick and easy to have in as a, as a um, backup I mean I use fresh onions but equally you know it's pretty quick right so I'm going to let my chicken sit there and, and cook while I sort this polenta out. So, I've got my polenta here. Just got it from Tesco's. Um, I think it was by the pastas and rices. You know, that, oh, that's annoying me. Um, that's sort of in that area. Um, I've got some low-fat, 30% uh, low-fat cheese. I've got a couple of tomatoes. I've got some garlic, a peg. <laughs> Um, some herbs and some crucials barbecue sauce. So, what am I going to do? And I got my my mug. So in my mug, I'm going to be putting. I've just boiled the kettle. I'm putting a mug of boiling water. And I'm not sure what the. Um, and I'm turning that on. I'm not sure what the volume is going to need to be, um, polenta to water. I might have probably have loads of polenta left over, I know what I like. So I'll probably end up with loads left over. So to the water I'm going to be adding some mixed herbs. Because polenta is very bland, um, you need to sort of spice it up a little bit. So I've got my mixed herbs, put some of that in. And I'm going to put a few chilies in. So it's all just going into the water at the moment. Okay. And then once that is boiled, that's my chicken you can hear. Once that started to um, get to the boil, then I'm going to add the polenta. Just sort of looking after my chicken. I'm only frying it off. There's nothing, nothing too exciting going on down here. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I'm going to shut the door because the dog letter has um, opened it. She hasn't learned how to shut it. I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself because I've had um, I've got shingles. Oh, have you ever had shingles? It's painful. So the last couple of days I haven't done any vlogs or anything because I've just felt like rubbish. It's all down this side and it's so painful. Oh God. Because it, it affects your nerve endings apparently. So I've got these tablets to take from the doctor. You've got to take um, one five times a day. So I have to start at six in the morning to be able to finish them because they've got to be every four hours to be able to finish them at 10 o'clock at night. So I can go to bed. Oh, do I have a stupid amount? Five. Five a day. Anyway, so I've been feeling a bit sorry for myself. So right before Easter as well. Typical. There you go. Never mind. Right, so that's my chicken. I'm going to turn that down to two. Right, my water is boiling. Now the trick with plenty, you have to keep stirring it. Now I broke my whisk the other day doing polenta, so I don't have a whisk. I've got round to getting one, so I've got to try and do it with this or a fork. I'll start off with a fork. 
So I'm going to put in, let's measure it, I'm going to put in half a cup of polenta. And I'm going to give that a good stir in. I have pulled it off the heat. I'm going to put it back on. that down a little bit, turn it down to two and I'm going to keep stirring, change over to my wooden thing, you've got to be quick with it, you've got to keep going, keep stirring, I don't know how long for, that's long enough. Right, so I've taken it off the heat. Now what I've done, I have got a pizza tray which I've covered with parchment paper. And I'm going to give it a good spray with firelight, turn it over And that just helps the paper to stay on there. But just remember, I'm just going to put my, my oven on at 180. And I'm going to spray the other side as well. Right. So, polenta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water at the top in that cup that I had the polenta in. Put it there. I've got a broom there. And I'm going to transfer, put my tray on there. Honestly. Right. Then I'm going to get my polenta and I'm going to put it onto God, try. Let me know. I know it's hot, but carefully dip your hand in the water and just move it on top of the polenta, moving it. Spreading it out. I mean, you can do it with a spoon, but I did find it kind of sticks to the spoon a bit. It's better with your hand. So it just needs a bit of manoeuvring. Of course, hot. resembles a, a smallish pizza base. Well, you can do whatever size you like. You know, you could fill the whole thing and do a, a big pizza. There we go. So you can see the herbs and you can see the chilli flakes and bits like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's rustic. <laughs> it's a rustic pizza. Right, so pizza. Well I'm going to have chicken. I'm going to get some passata to start with and I'm going to open up my passata. Easier said than done. My chicken's gone a bit quiet. I'm going to turn up a little bit. And then I'm going to put three 
dessert spoons of passata. Can you see? On there. And then to that, I'm going to add a sprinkle of my onions. I'm going to get my chicken. Where's my thingy? Which is being chucked all over the place. Which is now pretty much good through, as you can see. Let's turn that off. So I'm going to put my chicken on. To get a knife, got one somewhere. Have I done that? I've lost my knife. Oh, there it is. I'm going to slice up a tomato. There's nothing for you. You don't even like tomato. And put some tomato on. And I was going to put some garlic on, but I don't think I'm going to bother actually. I don't think it really warrants garlic, to be honest. So, I'm going to get my grater. And we're going to weigh out. Let's put that down there a minute. I'm going to weigh out my cheese. Twenty-seven. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Twenty-five grams of cheese. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Right. God. So I'm gonna use the fine grate, that one. And I'm gonna grate my cheese on top of me. Pizza. I don't actually think I need all this cheese. So, it's your lucky day, isn't it, dog? Right. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some the Crucials barbecue. So I'm gonna a dessert spoon of that and then I'm just gonna put dollop it over the pizza like so and that's what it looks like at the moment now I'm gonna pop that in the oven for I'm gonna say eight minutes and then check it I'll be back in eight. It's just come out of the oven, so it's had seven minutes and it's looking like that. It smells very nice. So I've got my oregano, I'm just going to give it a little sprinkling of oregano on top. I think I should have probably done that before it went into cook, I don't know, but it's on there. Um, now I've got to try and cut it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to be like any pizza that you can just pick up. Um, like a normal piece of pizza. But I'm going to put it on my board. No, I don't think that's the way forward. Right. I think 
like it is a knife and fork job. it tastes like pizza it does taste like pizza but the base is not bread it's never going to be bread is it it's polenta but as an alternative and a healthier option than a pizza base i think that's pretty darn nice yeah i'd make that again and i'd eat that again i've seen people make it with cauliflower um the base of a pizza and to be honest, ooh, it, I don't know, it just don't, um, yeah, no, I'm not keen on cauliflower at the best of times. For me, this is a better alternative to cauliflower, most definitely. Um, and it was quick and easy, it didn't take long to do. The dog is dying for a bit, I can see. And you. <laughs> so, yeah, give it a go. It is an alternative to um, a pizza. You ain't going to be able to pick that up, I don't think, like a slice of pizza. I mean, you could, but it's a bit darn messy, isn't it? I think it needs a knife and fork, personally. Um, but yeah, give it, get some polenta, give it a go, and um, see what you think. Anyway, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button and you'll get some more um, videos. Now that I'm starting to feel a bit better. I will hopefully be putting some more vids on and um, yeah, tell your friends about me. This mad woman from Somerset <laughs> with a hopeful dog and um, I'll catch you next time. Bye then. <laughs>